Before we start today's video, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Vox Cinemas and Warner Brothers Middle East for inviting me to the early screening of The Flash. I had a really great time with all of you guys, and so I wanted to say a huge thank you. It means the world to me that I got invited, and let's get right into the video. It's possibly the most mind-blowing film ever. Honestly, was one of the best DC movies. Uh, this is the best DCU movie of all time. Watch The Flash at Vox Cinemas once it releases on June 15th. I promised myself when I started this channel that I would always be unbiased, that I would go into a movie with empty expectations and I would review it based upon how I enjoyed it and also how I felt people were reacting to it in theaters. And let me tell you guys, The Flash, directed by Andy Muschietti, starring Ezra Miller, Michael Keaton, and the girl who plays Supergirl, was absolutely fantastic. I honestly could not believe my eyes watching this film. I just wanted to give you guys some background information. I reacted to the Michael Keaton Batman 80s movies when I was doing movie reactions on my channel and I really enjoyed them, but I didn't love them. I didn't adore them. I didn't develop an attachment to them. I just thought they were really great movies. So when I knew that Michael Keaton was gonna be in this movie, I was excited, but there wasn't any emotional depth that I was clinging to that would absolutely destroy me once I got into theaters. It wasn't a No Way Home situation where I grew up with Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. I was just fine with it. So for someone like me, who doesn't really care as much about Michael Keaton's Batman, to go into this movie and to love it the amount that I did purely because of Ezra Miller's Barry Allen. I understand that this movie is a bunch of nostalgia bait. I understand that they're essentially doing what Spider-Man No Way Home did, even though The Flash was planned before Spider-Man No Way Home. I understand all of these aspects. I understand that they are marketing Batman a lot for you to go see this movie. But honestly, if you are a fan of superhero films in general that are really well written and clever and have a really good story arc, this is the movie for you. This story essentially revolves around Ezra Miller realizing that he can go back in time because he can travel faster than the speed of light and he wants to go back in time to save his mom from dying because she died when he was a lot younger. In doing so, he creates this alternate universe where a bunch of crazy stuff happens and he runs into Michael Keaton's Batman. Of course, these aren't spoilers because this was all in the trailer. This was all information that I knew going into it. But what I didn't know was how emotional and well-written this film was. It was really strong in giving you this idea that, hey, you're attached to Barry Allen, but what happens when you go back in time and you meet another Barry Allen? One Barry Allen doesn't know that his mom's gonna die and the other does. What happens when they coincide? Which leads me to another thing that I absolutely loved, a version of yourself meeting another version of yourself that's a lot younger who hasn't gone through the stuff that you have. How would you guys interact? That was done so well by Ezra Miller. They really captured both of these characters in the film. There were so many times in this movie where I forgot that these two characters were played by the same actor. I firmly believed that Barry and Barry were two distinct different people, and that is all due to Ezra Miller's amazing performance in this film. Again, I am not one to claim opinions on Ezra Miller, but I will say when I met them in 2017, because I was such a huge fan of Fantastic Beasts, they were so unbelievably kind to me. The security was rushing me to move a long and yet they were still so kind and they let me have my time with them. They were so kind to me and I know that they're going through a nervous breakdown right now and Warner Brothers doesn't want to advertise their role in this film but they are the main character and my goodness do they carry this movie on their backs. Ezra Miller does such a wonderful job as this character. I was never a fan of The Flash. My dad was a really huge fan of The Flash so I'm really excited to take him to go see it but I had no emotional attachment to any of these characters. I love The Flash and Zack Snyder's Justice League, but in this movie, they really become their own characters. And I do mean characters because Barry and Barry are two distinctly different people. It is so wonderful to see a multiversal story done so well, in my opinion. I still haven't seen Across the Spider-Verse because it hasn't been released yet in my country, but my goodness, the Flash is absolutely phenomenal. In terms of other characters, Michael Keaton's Batman is absolutely great. He is the same exact Batman that you guys probably grew up with, and he does really, really well in this role. I also loved seeing the Batcave that I really adored. I'm excited to get that Lego set. It was really cool seeing all of these characters just meet and greet one another. And another thing that I thought I was gonna really hate going into the movie was Kara as Supergirl. 
And I'm not going to give away any spoilers because I really don't want to get into the character and I want you guys to go in as empty as possible. But she is really wonderful in the role. I thought I wasn't going to care about her because I have never been a Superman fan ever. But she was really, really wonderful, and I really loved her in this role. By far the biggest thing that I loved about this movie, and of course, you guys know me. If you guys have watched my channel, if you guys have watched my movie reactions to a lot of 80s classic films, you will know that there is one trilogy that means so much to me from the 80s ever since I reacted to it two and a half years ago. And man, this movie is an homage to that film. And you guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, you guys heard me talk about the premise. I just don't really want to spoil it. But the way they reference that movie, the way they honor that movie and speak highly about it, even in this film, is really, really wholesome. And it really, really touches my heart. And it allows me to enjoy it and not feel like it's a ripoff of that 80s film, which I love oh so much. While I know Andy Muschietti is a great director and he directed this film so well, I think the reason this movie works so much is because because of how well it's written. I don't know what people are saying about this film, but honestly, take my word for it, this is a movie that is so well written, so clever, and not only giving you references to the past, but having those references be actual plot points that affect characters' understandings of what's going on. It's so clever. It's so brilliant. It is such a wonderful film. Another thing that I would like to mention is my audience reaction because, oh my goodness, the trailers don't show you how truly hilarious this film is. And again, it's all due to Ezra Miller's amazing performance as Barry Allen. They are so good when it comes to comedic timing. I don't know who wrote this film, but my goodness, is it absolutely hilarious. My theater was going berserk at the funny scenes in this film. Not to mention a whole bunch of surprises throughout the film that my entire theater was roaring when they saw, especially in the last five minutes of the movie. Again, I'm not gonna spoil absolutely anything, but I will never forget this reaction. It was Spider-Man No Way Home levels of freakouts in my theater. And I was honestly just blown away. As an experience, it was a 10 out of 10. And I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. This might be my favorite DCU movie of all time. If we don't include Zack Snyder's Justice League, it is the best DCU movie of all time. And this is coming from a person who loves James Gunn and loves James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. This movie takes the cake for me. It is such a well-constructed film with such um, emotional arcs that really develop their protagonist so well. And then it's just so hilarious. It's so cleverly written. The references actually make sense with what's going on. The movie is just a 10 out of 10 for me. I honestly cannot wait for the movie to release worldwide so I can release my spoiler review because there are so many things that I am dying to talk to you guys about and reasons I thought this movie worked so well, but I just can't do it without spoiling the film. And so I don't wanna spoil the film for you guys, but thank you guys so much for watching. There's a week until this movie comes out all around the world. I am begging you, when this movie comes out, I'm absolutely begging you, do not let this film flop. I swear to God, it deserves everything, truly. It is such a good film. I want more DC movies like this because this is the right direction to go in. Wow, was it amazing. I love you all so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stick around for my spoiler review because I really want to talk about this movie. And please, if you went to some of the early screenings, do not spoil this movie for other people. They deserve to be just as surprised as we were when we went to go see it. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.